center of the city. You don't usually inspect that. Secretary, welcome to uh, to Athens. Uh, you know, you're coming uh, at a very, very challenging time. Uh, it's been a year since uh, uh, Russia has invaded Ukraine, and, and if anything, uh, this unprovoked war has tested uh, our our alliance. But I think we've uh, been able to respond. Uh, as uh, was actually appropriate, uh, and you know, Greece has um, always uh, supported uh, uh, Ukraine, uh, also by providing military uh, assistance. And it is very, very clear that we need to send a signal that any form of uh, revisionism, any change of borders by force, cannot be tolerated by the international community of democratic uh, states. Also happy that we'll be able to take stock of our bilateral relationship, which uh, I think it was a strength. I'm really happy with what we have achieved on all fronts, on the strategic geopolitical side, on the energy side, where Greece is becoming uh, an energy hub and is helping uh, our neighbors uh, to uh, disengage from their dependence uh, on Russian gas. On the economic side, we have significant amount of foreign investment from the U.S. Yes. Uh, into the Greek uh, uh, economy. Uh, and of course, it will be an opportunity to also discuss regional issues. I know you come um, uh, from Turkey. Uh, we're all heartbroken with a humanitarian catastrophe uh, that has struck uh, um, uh, our neighbor. We were the first country uh, to send uh, our rescuers uh, uh, to help. Uh, and if anything, I think this, this horrible um, uh, catastrophe has proven that there is a deep connection between our two people. Uh, and we may have our big, significant political differences, uh, but uh, the bonds between our people are, uh, are there. Uh, and hopefully, it will be an opportunity to build upon uh, this sort of psychological uh, connection uh, and uh, improve our relationship, uh, which I think will be beneficial for the stability in the Eastern Mediterranean in general. So again, lots to discuss, and uh, welcome, very, welcome to Athens. Well, Prime Minister, thank you very much, and I apologize because I've lost my voice over the last few days, but uh, I am so pleased to be here, to be back uh, in Greece. It is a very challenging time, but the fact of our partnership, uh, the strength of that partnership, gives me great confidence that we can meet the challenges of this time. As you said, we're now uh, one year into Russia's aggression against Ukraine, but the partnerships, the alliances we form are strong in support of Ukraine, and I have to applaud uh, Greece's leadership uh, in that area as among the first to come to the support of Ukraine to come to the support of democracy, which is being challenged by the Russian aggression. Uh, the role that Greece is playing throughout the region, um, as, as you noted, uh, an energy hub, as a leader on climate, uh, as a leader also for uh, integrating countries uh, further into Europe, the Western Balkans, is making a huge, huge difference. And we're grateful for that. <clears throat> I'm also pleased that I'm here also to uh, inaugurate the fourth strategic dialogue between our countries. That's a vehicle for really strengthening even more the partnership that we have on a bilateral basis, as well as the work that we're doing together in the region uh, and uh, around the world. I look forward to uh, continuing to deepen the economic ties between us, the people-to-people -people ties. Uh, but I think maybe in some ways most important of all in this moment is uh, the fact that, as you said when you gave your historic speech to the United States Congress, to a joint session, and I see the photograph here, um, I remember it very well, and one of the things you said, if I recall it correctly, is that the thing that really unites us, the United States and Greece, is the miracle of a Greek idea, uh, the idea that uh, a society functions best when its citizens are equal and all have a right to share in the running of the state. That's a powerful idea that unites us fundamentally. Uh, it's an idea that... Um, in some places, in some ways, is being challenged. And the fact that we remain together, uh, I think, is uh, a source of great hope for the future. Thank you. Thank you.